When we change, when things happen to us, or maybe after a diagnosis or a big transition, it can be really hard to negotiate a new relationship with the body that you have. I found that really hard, especially early on when I gained and lost 40 pounds over and over again, depending on uh, the chemo regimen I was on, depending on how sick I was. I looked and felt totally different based on how often I had been carved up and I'm currently on my ninth belly button. So <laughs> at, at, some point, at some point, you're like, what are we doing here? It took me a while, um, especially in our culture, women can never have wrinkles and will apparently live forever in this new Botox world in which we're not able to show the wear and tear of life. And I felt um, really conflicted about this at first because I was kind of embarrassed that I even worried about my hair or my body or after I promised that I would be so grateful just to have survived. I remember walking through the mall one time and looking at all the people shopping and I was wearing this chemotherapy pack with all these tubes and things sticking out of me and it just felt like I was a world away from a person who could imagine themselves as being comfortable again inside of this skin. It took um, a lot of listening to other people who have found peace and compassion and strength inside of their limitations to think about what a new path forward would look like. Right, it's really tempting to just want to go the um, eternal youth plan. I think instead um, what I was really asking was how do you how do you learn to live inside your body is the same question as like how do you learn to live inside finitude? The fact that things aren't what they were and that they that we age and that we are not who we were. So I think the only way to move forward is just um, love and compassion and also people who inspire you to not feel like you have to rush to get back to that old person, but figure out who the new might still be. New belly button at all. <laughs>